Hi uh, guys, good morning. Uh, so in this video, uh, we'll talk about MS Access Database and uh, we'll try to learn the functionalities uh, which are used in uh, Access Tables, right? And uh, before I start, I just would like to take your 15 seconds and uh, would like you to, uh, you know, know that we have started our this uh, website which is called excelvblover.com and you can search all the stuff. Uh, about the training about the videos uh, you know through this link if you are looking for the excel training go to this training course if you are looking for the excel videos just click on this video tutorial and these are all the you know we have categorically actually uh, given all these you know videos like for the vlookup we have like as you can see five videos over here we have the so many videos on the arrays and uh, things which are not looking uh, the we are we, you know which are looking blank they are still yet to be maintained um, yet to be you know i need to uh, i haven't started working on that but the website is launched and uh, you can check out all the vba training stuff vba training tutorials over here and you can look out for your particular subject as well in case if you are looking for some video so this uh, <coughs> will take you to all the videos which I have uploaded so far on the VLOOKUP and every video is actually a very cla you know uh, classy video I must tell you because we haven't uh, actually discussed the basic things but they are really very super advanced things and similarly as you know that uh, you are watching this video on my YouTube channel so that's my channel where I have created so many lists for you so I have started this MS Access uh, videos as well because uh, a lot of uh, people have requested that they also need to see you know uh, some good videos on the MS Access so two videos are already uploaded uh, uploaded go and watch and um, this time this is going to be the third video and again I'll try to make it very interesting and very useful for you so what we exactly are going to do is uh, we are going to set up a rule in our table today that when you insert when a user inserts some name let's say then we should set up some standards that you know he should not be able to insert any character uh, you know more than let's say four characters or maybe you know he is not able to enter anything uh, lesser than you know four characters so you know so many uh, uh, validations we can actually put up in our tables so let us quickly go ahead and um, I have already opened this database so I'm going to you know I'm work on this table design so click on the table design and this is my Excel 2010 so if you have a 7 or 13 then I mean you know you will not be having any challenges right and even uh, in 2003 uh, it works on the same concept right it just that the appearance of 2003 is different right but otherwise the concept remains same so let us uh, try to uh, have some employee IDs here let's say I want to keep them text or number whatever I can keep it right now I'm not uh, concerned about that so what else you want uh, now you want to actually uh, create a, a let's say a name right uh, a name uh, which can actually uh, uh, we can set up the rule over there so let's say I'll say that that's going to be my first name so I'll put the underscore and similarly I'm going to write here the last name like this right so now what we want to do is uh, when a user enters first name then uh, we, sh we should actually set up uh, a validation that if the characters of first name is going to be let's say uh, greater than six then it should not allow you know user access table should not allow user to enter those names right so what you need to do is uh, simply click on the first name and you see that here the window uh, appears and in the general tab you need to see this validation rule and then the validation text right this is where we actually set up the formula and then if the formula results true and your value is not you know according to the formula result which is true and if it is a false value in other words then whatever you will write in the validation text that will that would come as a message for the user that you know the validation rule this is the rule and you are going against the rule right so let us quickly go ahead and uh, say that uh, now I'll use the length function so I'll say len as you can see that I'm getting the help as well so length does what length actually returns the number of the characters right this is how you write and this is the same function which we can use in Excel also right so length and then select the uh, you know the cell but in case of access you know that we don't have any cells right so what we are going to do is we have records so we'll select our record and this is how you put the you know 
uh, your this header name which is in going to be in the square bracket and then I'm going to write here F name underscore name and then I'll close square bracket and thereafter I'll close this you know using the oh, close parenthesis which is closing this length formula and here we'll say that it should not allow let's say uh, greater than six characters right and and remember you need not to write uh, equals to before this length function right and the validation text uh, let's say we'll say that uh, uh, last name or maybe first name cannot cannot be cannot be greater than or maybe you can say that cannot have more than six cannot have more than six characters right all right so now uh, let us save this table we'll give this I want to save the changes yes I want to save the changes and now this time I'm going to name it uh, let's say uh, database okay so there is no primary key defined here uh, although a primary key isn't required it is highly recommended a table must have a primary key for you right do you want to create a primary key so I will say uh, no I don't want to create it because uh, this time I'm just giving you a demo so uh, we really don't need the primary key so primary key means that the same entry cannot be repeated the same uh, header cannot be repeated in a way that if I write employee ID as a primary key then every time uh, the employee ID has to be unique right so this is a very important actually feature but we'll I'll discuss it maybe in some another video for now let us uh, simply say that I don't want to create it so let's keep it no okay and now the table is saved and uh, so we'll go to our database and we'll enter here and now let us try to enter something employee ID is this and now let's say the first name is Ajay and alright so you see that first name cannot have more than six characters right so I have written only four characters right that's quite interesting you know it is it is giving me this error it ideally it should not give me the error so that means there is some problem in my uh, you know validation rule so let us press escape and let's go back to our design view this is how you go back to your you know the view where you have designed everything and here uh, we can check actually that what exactly is going on you know um, over here so I'm saying that length of character has to be greater than six so guys you see that my question was different and the criteria is different right so I wanted that you know user should be able to enter any name which should be lesser than six characters right but here the condition I have given is it has to be greater than six characters right so that's the reason so what I will do is I will say less than six characters right so your prompt has to be you know in very much sync with the condition so that was just you know to confuse you but so that you know you you understand what message you are conveying it should be actually with your validation rule right so it should go along with your validation rule so let us quickly save this and let us again double click and write here the employee ID and now this time I'll write here Ajay alright so AJ as you can see here I'm able to allow and here I'll say that I'm going to write here uh, the next thing which I'm going to write here let's say uh, we'll write Cheryl and the moment I you know go to the next it says the first name cannot have six characters so as you can see here that I have one two three four five six six characters so if I delete this and I press you see that I'm able to actually you know go here and as far as this uh, mm, last time is concerned you know uh, what you can do is you can write uh, you know maybe anything I mean because this has, this does not hold any restriction right because we haven't set up any uh, validation uh, just in case if you would like to set up the validation just go back to your design view and same thing you need to write here so just click on this first name and you will get this pop up just you know copy this rule to save the time and now click on the last name and over here in the validation rule what you can do is you can write here 
right so last time you are saying that it can't be less than 6 again right and so here I will say that last name is incorrect let's say you know please contact admin all right so we are done with this now I'm going to close this I'll press yes now you'll get this uh, prompt you know that's the purpose of this exercise read this uh, data integrity rules have been changed Exi existing data may not be valid for the new rules now what it says is that you have already got some data in your table and you remember uh, on the last time of the shell I have deliberately you know exceeded it you know we have used more than six characters there and so no once you have saved the table and now again you're going back and changing the rules then this will say that you know that this is this may you know invite some data loss for you as well and this is going because access is going to check again you know everything for you it is going to apply all the rules so do you want the existing data to be tested with the new rule if I say yes then what will happen is it is going to check all those names you know existing names if I say no then it will start with the new record right with the new entry so I'm going to say yes now you see that invalid SQL ca cannot use multiple columns in column uh, level check constraint alright so we got some issue here uh, let us quickly see that what is the issue alright so can you can you check that this is a very good exercise right can, can you see that what exactly is the problem here I'm sure you would have got it by now but in case if you don't then you know it's actually very common mistake which people generally do when they copy and paste I actually forgot to change the header because we are setting up this rule in the last name right so let us now quickly close this I'm gonna save it yes I want existing rec records to be tested press yes now it clearly says that existing data violates the new setting right for the property of this do you want to keep testing with the new setting yes I want right now let us come back to this table right so this is how now your table is set up now let us try to enter here a name let's say H H H H H and now let's press enter you see that I'm getting here last name is incorrect please contact admin right so that's how you can set up the rules for both the things and uh, now I'm going to write here the new employee ID let's say we'll write here John and uh, <coughs> we'll write here alright this name so this is not going to be accepted so I'm going to press enter again this is not going to be accepted so I'll write enter and then five characters are going to be accepted here right so you see that uh, and this is my first record uh, Excel uh, my MS access though it did check but you know again it has actually failed now it, it has failed to review all the things because I you know set up these rules after entering the data so that's why you know it is always advisable that once you are working on a database on a t on the tables design first ensure that you know everything is set in their place because once you have the data and then you know you're going to change some uh, rules you know in the table design then that can create a problem for you now here if I press now enter see this is going to be uh, entered if I change this now this is not going to be entered and if I'm now going to press enter again you see that it is not going to allow me initially it was allowing me because this was the old entry the moment I try to manipulate it this key you know system has you know it has it is treating it as a new data so that's why now you are not able to write this you're not able to get this uh, you know last name entered because it has six characters right so that's how uh, the things are I hope uh, this has given you a you know a good insight on the how you can set up the validation rules and uh, I will be uploading a couple of more videos on the validation rule wherein uh, we can combine uh, you know the rules with the wild characters like star and question mark and uh, that is really going to be very awesome exercises right for now uh, I'm signing off and uh, don't forget to click on the like if you like this video and guys please forget uh, you know don't forget to subscribe on the channel and do watch my newly prepared website as well right thank you so much and have a good day bye bye